Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, hello, hello. I'm Keenan Bridges standing in for Sid Roth and welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. Our guest today hears the most precise secrets of God about himself and others. He has literally equipped thousands to do the same. Are you ready? Yes. I'm here with Sean Boltz. And Sean, the last time you were here, you gave some of the most amazingly accurate words of God. I want us to show a clip of that right now. I had one more username. I never get usernames, but I ask God for new information that I never get. And he gave me uh, Terry Bishop 911. Is that, uh, is that a username? Where is he? Terry Bishop, you're working on the show and we're getting you. Is this, is this, your, is this a username you use? Uh, that is my uh, username, Terry Bishop 911. That's amazing. Sean, God has raised you up uh, to really be a bridge for so many others, to help others to develop their gifting, to develop their sensitivity to the Holy Spirit. But it wasn't always that way, was it? No, I mean, I love the prophetic from the time I was little. My, yeah. my parents raised us up in an environment like, what's God showing you? What's God doing? But I never thought of myself as the teacher of the prophetic or, or somebody who's like going to help people get words of knowledge and understand this and get clarity. You know, it's just something that along the journey, I love the fruit of it so much that I couldn't help but say, you guys got to do this. You guys got to hear God this way. Wow. So you went from this sort of insecure kind of reality to taking the risk, stepping out, being bold. You even gave words in front of 65,000 people <laughs> at Azusa now. Tell us about that. It was just a living room, Paul. Just a little, you know, God's <laughs> living room. You know, it, it was wild because I've, I've done prophetic ministry and words of knowledge for so long and I've only been on a platform to show people what's possible. I, I don't actually like taking a platform for words of knowledge. I love teaching. I love inspiring people, but prophesying publicly, like I, I, it's part of my behind the scenes life. So to do it publicly in front of 65,000 people, it was very intimidating. I even tried to get out of it at the beginning. Wow. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to do this, guys. And they're like, you're going to do this. So, so you mean to tell me that even today, sometimes you still feel that trepidation you still feel that like every time every time every time I take a platform I feel like I don't want to do this so you you don't just have this fearless sort of boldness all the time no, if you watch any videos because we post videos sometimes our ministry posts videos because we want to show what a chicken I am and how God can still use me and so there's times where I'm going really it's real like what I'm saying is real and the yeah, people are yeah. going yeah and I'm like I'm discovering the reality as well as I think we have this image that we grow in our confidence and everything else, so why don't we grow in the, our confidence in the supernatural? But the supernatural is dependent on our connection relationship with God. Wow, that's and so And so it should never feel like, I got this, you know? Although we should feel confident, we shouldn't feel a sense of self-confidence. Wow, wow. So you called out people in that large crowd, <laughs> yeah. 65,000 people. I mean, how was that? Did you, did you know you were being accurate? Tell us about so how, how that went. No, like the first couple I called out, it was the Gringo. first and middle names of, of a couple. It was funny because their friends afterwards were, I mean, they're lifelong friends. So we didn't even know their middle names. You know, like their first and middle names, Wait, a street she'd oh, grown up you? on. There's, you know, all this information about their, how many kids they have. They had just moved to Oregon and they didn't tell their family yet. So a lot of their friends and family didn't know they had moved. So I told their friends and family on national television <laughs> and that they were doing this and that this was a God thing. And they were just, they were just in so much shock that God knew them and used them as an example to, to you know, millions of people who were watching, but also the 65,000 live to show them, like, I'm with you. I, the Lord God, am ever present, but I'm also manifesting my presence wow. for you. Wow. 
Let, let me ask the question that all of our viewers want to really know. Can everybody really flow in words of knowledge, or is it just for the super saints and the specially gifted? <laughs> I have an example of why anyone can flow in words of knowledge. I don't have a birthmark on anywhere in my body that qualifies me. I don't, you know, like there's, there's no sign that I was born under. I think, I think the reality is, you, you know, 1 Corinthians 14 says, go after love like your life depended on mm. it and eagerly desire prophecy. And then in 1 Corinthians 14, it also talks about the process of prophecy wow. and how when someone comes in who doesn't know the Lord and they get prophesied to, the secrets of their heart are laid bare. Now, these secrets aren't necessarily things that other people who know them wouldn't know, but the, the fact that God knows them and the fact that the people in the room all of a sudden know them by supernatural revelation makes them say, God is real, he loves me, he cares about me. So for me, it's not an issue of can we all get it? Yes, we can all get it, yeah. but will we? Will we go after love and prove love by prophecy? Listen, God wants to show you secrets. The secret of the Lord is with them who fear him. When we come back, we're gonna show you, Sean's gonna teach us a little bit more how to tap into the heart of God. We'll be right back. Supernatural. I am in Galilee. It is so amazing what just happened. A thousand Jewish Israelis that have never heard the gospel came to this meeting. The angels are celebrating because almost all of the thousand people that came stood up and made professions of faith. So many people were physically healed. It's a new day, it's a new season, it's a new year! Happy New Year! We now return to It's Supernatural. Welcome back. I'm so excited to be here with Sean Boltz. We're talking about the secrets of God for every single believer. And when we, before the break, Sean, we were talking about God divulging the secrets of his heart. But I want to ask you a question, and you can be honest with me. We're the only ones here, so you can tell me the <laughs> truth. Does God always give you good words about people? Are they always sweet and mushy? Or are they kind of hard to release sometimes? I think it's both. Like I have a four and a two-year-old, so like sometimes with my daughters, Good love is also saying, you no, know, you have to do this. There is course correction. There's, right. there's building. And I remember my friend, uh, Honatan and I went to, to Puerto Rico, and we were ministering at a series of churches that were set up by a, like a, a manager. Yeah. And one of the churches we went into, I walked in, and I was so tired because I'd done like 13 services in five days. And I was so tired, and I walked into church, and I looked at the pastor, and I told my best friend, Hona, that pastor was having an affair with that woman right there. Wow. And we got to we got to address this. I can't preach here until we address. We we got to figure this out. And he goes, "What do we do?" And I, I don't know. Like, what do, what would you do? You know, wow. Like, it's not my normal to go and see people sin, but I felt like God was showing me out of a place of grace and mercy for this whole church. He wanted to recover a church. Wow. And I feel like you know we throw around these charismatic buzzwords like I'm going to be a gatekeeper. Well, when you're a gatekeeper, you're closing the gates of hell, not just opening the gates of heaven. Oh, that's so good. And <laughs> that's good. So I. I yeah. I asked the um, elder, I said, I went up to the woman who was hosting us, and I said, hey, can you uh, go find the elders and bring the pastor? And it was during worship time, and we got there a few minutes late. And so they, we all went back to the office, and it was just the two elders and the two, the two accountability people and mm. the pastor and, and Juan and I. And I looked at him and I said, do you want to tell them, you brought a prophetic guy to your church, do you want to tell them what I'm seeing, or do you want me to tell them what I'm seeing wow. about this woman? And he said, immediately goes, I'm having an affair, I'm so sorry and begins to like unfold the, the two year history of this. And, and they, they start to like, you know, minister to that and, and, and deal with that as well and try and create a plan. And I was like, okay, well, we're gonna leave now. <laughs> Cause I didn't know what to do. I'm like, yeah. we're gonna leave now. And they said, no, God loves our church. He loves our people. Please stay and minister. And I, wow. it was so hard to take a stage right after that, but I could feel like a father's love. Like the father gave me the revelation cause he loved the church. Wow, that's good. So I, I immediately stepped into that place of even though this pastor had had that, you know, that brokenness, yeah. I had stepped in that place of love and the church is doing really well now. Yeah, I, I love the restoration. God speaks to us to restore us yeah. and that's so important. Tell me about the girl in the coffee shop. Oh, it was so cool. It was just a little bit ago. I was walking, I, I live in Studio City, and so uh, it's like where a lot of entertainment people type, type people are. And I went to a, a coffee shop there, and just, you know, I mean, it's totally full of people at that time of the morning. And she had already ordered, so she's way over there, and I'm hey, over here, and I go, hey, you, you, right, hey, there. you right there. And she goes, 
me and she thought maybe I knew her or something and the whole yeah, place turns into a reality TV show you know like everyone's like what's going on you know and I said hey I just heard from God and he said get the script out of the trash can she goes what and I said get the script out of the trash can you heard me and she goes what are you saying and I said get the screenplay out of the trash can now God gave that to you don't throw it away and she's like no this can't be happening and she's screaming and freaking out and the whole place is like you know, like starts wow. clapping, just like, wow. what's happening? She goes, yeah. this is my last coffee in LA. I'm leaving right now. I've deleted everything off my hard drive. I have one more screenplay. I'm about to throw it in the trash can right now. That's my last copy. And she goes, this can't be, I mean, I'm leaving because nothing's open for me here. And I said, well, God apparently loves your screenplay and he loves your writing gift and you're about to give up your destiny. Yeah, And she's wow. weeping and I just, wow. it was crazy. Wow. wow. Sean, how can we begin to move in words of knowledge? You said it's for everybody. I mean, you, 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 you've said that it's not just for the superstars, not just for the Sean Bolts and, and all the famous ministers, but how can we, the average person, move in, in words of knowledge? I think it's a love-based approach. So when you look at the people, first yourself, your immediate family, your friends that you love the most, you start to ask God, what are your thoughts about them? And then you start to pay attention to those downloads. Like a lot of people are waiting to hear, this is the voice of God. Mm. But it, the reality is that we share the same headspace with God. It says in 1 Corinthians 2, 16, that we have the mind of Christ, which means when you're reading the Bible for life application, a scripture comes alive, you're like, that's me, that's me. Well, you're not that smart. That came from the Holy Spirit. That's right. And so learning how to hear the downloads from God and, and then take steps on them. And I, I tell people, you're a wimp if you give up after 10 times. It's going to take a thousand times before you have confidence mm. because you have to learn the process. Just like no one wants to be around somebody who's learning how to play the piano the first you know, 25 <laughs> lessons or the first three years. It's later on when they've developed something that it makes sense. So like learning how to take the steps of faith in the mall, the coffee shop, with your family, with your friends. You know, it's the same thing when you're going after healing. You pray for everyone who has a cold around you. You pray for everything. You know, right. every step toe until there's healing breakthrough. You don't just go, I'm going to be in a meeting and it's going to happen. Right. You live a lifestyle where you're including God in that way. So with words and knowledge, you have to live a lifestyle to include God and say, God, I want to hear your thoughts. I want to know what you're thinking. Show me. I love that. Now, love compelled you to give a word to a little boy playing soccer. <laughs> Tell us about that. It was just wild. My, my friend and I were sitting there. He asked if I wanted to come to his kid's soccer game when I was on ministry trip. And we're ministry friends, but friends as well. And so we're sitting there watching his, his boy play. And there's one kid who was the underdog who no one was paying attention to. He just was very awkward physically at that stage of growth, like the boys can be. And, uh, and I just, I had a heart for him, because probably because I was uncoordinated. You know, when I was, I was, saying, I was like, oh, that's any. He, he just did, socially couldn't like connect to the other kids on the team. And all of a sudden I just had this like inspiration. I was like praying, God, God, this kid's awesome. Like the kid, other kids are just treating him like he's not. So Lord, what's something about him that you would, you would want to show me. And so, and a few minutes later, I just had this one word and it was a gamer tag. And I called out, I said, hey, what's your, what's your Call, Call of Duty, Duty score? score? And he goes, how do you know I play Call of Duty? And I go, what's your score? What's your score? And he tells us that it's one of the top in the nation as a little boy. Wow. And then I said, what's this? And it was actually his gamer tag along with it. Wow. And so all the other kids are, the heck, you can, you can play like that a lot. And they all wanted to like play dates with them, wow. learn from them. And my friend's son, he actually ended up like going out with them and they ended up becoming best friends. Like months later, wow. they were best friends. And then uh, it ended up like he was able to lead him to the Lord based on the fact that he told him the God experience behind that. Wow. They, in the moment, the kid didn't know I had a God experience. Wow. It was wow. months later that like the other kid explained to him like, hey, my, my dad's friend actually stole that from God and it actually brought value to you. Wow. And this is why, and it changed his life. Oh my God. Awesome. Listen, when we come back, when we come back, you're going to learn how God speaks in the most peculiar ways. And I believe eternity is about to invade time. Join us in just a little bit. We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. Call now and get Sean Bowles' powerful course, which includes his book and workbook, God Secrets, a life filled with words of knowledge. Plus, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience is Sean's anointed audio CD, Prophetic Impartation. 
yours. For a donation of $40, shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9511. I want every believer to understand words of knowledge and how to access the mind of God. In his must-read book, Sean Bowl shares his stories, thoughts, and biblical understanding to give you the keys to access the secrets of God concerning your future, your relationships, your business, and your ministry. Through Sean's powerful book, God Secrets, you will gain access to God's deep knowledge and wisdom, begin to share God's mindset, inspire and empower others with God's thoughts and dreams, use words of knowledge in everyday life scenarios, receive thorough answers from A to Z on how to operate in words of knowledge just as Sean does. The workbook is your guide to activate your faith and teach you how to share words of knowledge in relatable and practical ways. Understand how you can begin to interpret dreams. Receive personal words of knowledge from God that will help you to make the right choices for relationships, business, problem solving, and more. Receive words of knowledge for healing. Learn the different ways God can speak to you. We go through 36 examples of words of knowledge in scripture and you you go through activations, group activations, individual activations, and you're going to learn to live a lifestyle of risk. Plus, you will receive this audio CD, Prophetic Impartation, which is exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Through this audio CD, you will learn to clearly hear God's voice for yourself and others. Learn the simple keys God has revealed to Sean on how to receive your healing and how to heal others. I actually pray for you and talk about how to get the impartation, and then I actually pray it into your life and into your spirit. Don't miss out on getting Sean Bowles powerful course, which includes his book and workbook, God Secrets, a life filled with words of knowledge. Plus, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience is Sean's anointed audio CD, Prophetic Impartation. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9511. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9511 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Oh, man, this is so exciting. Sean, before the break, we had a little chat, uh, and I, I wanted to ask you something. Do you speak Spanish? No. So how can you explain to me how God gave you a word in Spanish? you want to talk about that a little bit? <laughs> my, I told you my best friend Spanish. He used to make fun of me whenever I try, so yeah. I stopped trying. Yeah. He's from Guatemala, and he's like, he was brutal with me, and so I never tried to speak Spanish. And uh, I was in uh, uh, Vacaville up in Northern California, and I was praying before the meeting. A lot of times before a meeting, I'll pray, like on the spot with people, if I'm in a coffee shop or whatever, God just shows up and I take the risk. But a lot of times before a meeting, I'm gonna pray because I wanna, I'm gonna bring a model of what the prophetic can be like in a meeting. Yeah. So I was praying and I had this phrase hit me and I had to type it as fast as I saw it. I literally saw it written out so I wow. couldn't say it. It wasn't that I could, I heard it like- So you actually saw I this? I saw it written out. And it was a Spanish phrase that was like two and a half lines long. And I was like, I hope this is real. Like, I have no way to figure out if this is real. My, one of my good friends said, why didn't you use Google Translate? You could figure it out. I'm like, I didn't think of Google Translate. I didn't even know this could be real. And so I went to the meeting and, and all the other prophetic words turned out so well that I said, I'm gonna try this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but I had two names and the Spanish phrase. And so I said, does anybody here speak Spanish? And, mm. and this man came up and he read the phrase. Now, it had colloquialisms and it had like a certain way to say things. You'd have to be from the region she's from to even understand it. Wow. So it's not like Spanish that you could just Google translate something online. It's like it actually had slang. Wow. And wow. it basically like this woman had given up her business career. She married this white man and, uh, and she gave up her business career and had like a bunch of kids in a row. And she just, there was a part of her that was going through that mom phase of going, is this significant? I know it is, I know these wow. kids are amazing, but like I've given up everything. Part of the word was I said, I feel like you've rubbed shoulders with John Maxwell, you've, you're a businesswoman, but you gave it all up for raising world champion leaders. And your kids are gonna say at the end of the day, this phrase. Wow. And the phrase was, you are like a, a totally charged, amazing mom. It was like this certain phrase that you'd say in only Spanish. in Spanish that they're gonna say that you are the ones who made our lives possible basically, and you are this kind of mom. And because you were this kind of mom, we're th these kinds of kids. And she's like weeping, just couldn't believe that. She knew I didn't know that Spanish. She like wow. knew immediately like, oh my gosh, this is so like, only God could have given her this, because it's like what kids would say. So it's not even like a word from the Lord, it's a word from the Lord of what her kids would say one day. Wow, and wow, it was that's crazy. awesome. You know what that means. Get ready for God to speak to you in a foreign language, just <laughs> FYI. Seriously. 
you, you, you say that God can speak to us in all kinds of ways. What are some of the ways that God speaks to us? Because I know a lot of times we think of thus says the Lord. It has to be in the audible Charlton Heston voice. It has to be that kind of thing. But you say he can speak to us in different ways. Give me an example. What are some of the ways God can speak to us? Yeah, I think the number one way when we train people is just the impressions, just the mm. downloaded thoughts or just the, I wasn't thinking of this before and now it's in my head. Should is that a feeling? It? Is what a, is It that? can be a feeling. It could be a sense. It could be like uh, the same realm your daydreams are and you might get a picture the okay. same. Whenever you think of somebody, you're like, that reminds me of this person. That could be the same kind of experience you're having with God. So a lot of cerebral ways that people hear from God are the most common ways wow. and the most discounted because it's almost one step past your own thoughts. It's already in your own thought realm. And we don't expect that, but the Holy Spirit is relating God's thoughts to our thoughts constantly. Now, how would you distinguish between, I know a lot of believers have this question, how do I know when God's talking to me? How do I know when it's my flesh? How do I know when it's the devil talking to me? We were just trying to say it's either God, it's your hormones. <laughs> so many young people are like, I know I'm going to marry. I, I heard it yeah, from the yeah. Lord. I'm like, no, you heard the hormones. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's uh, the devil's usually not as much of a factor, but it could be your own desire. Mm. And it could be your flesh, like you're saying. I think you have to go on the journey of saying, God, I'm looking for your heart to manifest and I'm learning what your heart is. Wow. And you have to trust God's heart to lead you more than the enemy can mislead you or you can mislead yourself. Wow, that's good. And that's a, that's a hard part where that's you're like, good. it's trial and error for a while until you get it. Yeah. But once you get it, there's a foundation of when you're adding the biblical virtues of the fruit of the spirit and the character, when that's all driving you, it's all love based and character based that's driving you, you won't go very far off. You know. According to you, Sean, you say that a word of knowledge can restore destinies. Tell us how a man's destiny was restored. Are you talking about in the Northeast when yeah. I, I told you that story? Uh, yeah. I love this story because I was praying about, again, we, I mentioned earlier, racism in America has just been one of my, my buttons right now, just prayer. And, and I was up in the Northeast and there's a, a very diverse crowd and I called up this woman, an African-American woman, and I said, hey, uh, is, there is there somebody named this in your life? And she said, yes, and that's my son. And I said, when he was a teenager, did he get violated by white cops? Yes, he was. And, and he she was said, yes, he did. And, it shouldn't have happened. And, and he was brutalized and it was totally they like, it shouldn't have happened. And I said, it, but, and they got held responsible for it, but it just like created a moment in his life that was really hard. I said, did it happen again when he was young at all? And it didn't get justified. It did, he, there was no justice from it. She said, yes. I said, well, you go home and tell your son who wasn't there at the time. You go home and tell your son who's now in his 30s that this was, these policemen were not a representation of God and that, that this is not God's justice and that this is a man of justice. Your son has leadership in his life to restore justice and you go and tell him because he has purpose confusion now because of what happened in those two incidents that it actually tried to steal his destiny from him. Wow. So go home and tell him and God's gonna restore him through this one word and, he, and she went home and told him and she never knew this but his whole life from the time he was little he wanted to be a police officer. And when he was violated by these two different groups of cops, he decided that all cops are bad and it's not worth being in the police force. When he heard the word, he had this purpose depression lift off his life, immediately enrolled in the police academy, and is now a police officer. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, that's awesome. No, 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 Sean, I want you to pray. I believe there are people watching right now that they need a word, but more importantly, they need to be activated yeah. to be able to hear God. Would you pray for them right yes. now? Yes. I pray right now that God would release in you the, not just the faith, but the connection to intimacy and relationship with him that you, de you deserve. He paid the price for it, that you could have fellowship with his thoughts and his mind. And I pray that he would unlock in you right now the faith to have that kind of connection. John 17, 24, he wants this connection more than you do. Jesus prayed that you would be with him where he is, that you would see the Father in his glory. And I pray over you right now a release of words of knowledge, words of prophecy, his original design over you, your family. I pray that you would see what was in his heart in the first place. Even as you're watching, Watching this, I pray that there would be like a breakthrough, a moment of time where everything's different because God is speaking to you in a different way than you ever anticipated hearing. I pray that he would blow you away, Ephesians 3.20, beyond what you could hope for or imagine in Jesus' name. Wow. I believe. That's right. Wow. I believe that God has a plan for your life. I believe, according to Jeremiah 29.11, he knows the thoughts he thinks towards you. But more importantly, I believe that you are going to know the revealer of secrets and your life will never be the same. Shalom and God bless you. 
people spend millions of dollars to obtain information and understanding on matters concerning their future, their relationships, finances, emotional and physical healing, their careers, their businesses, and so much more. God has the answers, and He wants to make His secrets available to every believer. This is God's gift to the entire church to connect to His heart. Sean Bowles has a desire to make the prophetic accessible to everyone as God intended it to be. Now He wants to mentor you. I want to personally mentor you in faith and overcoming unbelief and getting over fear and, and, and actually taking the risk that you know you want to take, but you just need that impartation, that push forward. Call now and get Sean Bowles' powerful course, which includes his book and workbook, God Secrets, a life filled with words of knowledge. Plus, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience is Sean's anointed audio CD, Prophetic Impartation. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9511. I just released this book, God Secrets, because I want every believer to understand words of knowledge and how to access the mind of God. In his must-read book, Sean Bowles shares his stories, thoughts, and biblical understanding to give you the keys to access the secrets of God concerning your future, your relationships, your business, and your ministry. Through Sean's powerful book, God Secrets, you will gain access to God's deep knowledge and wisdom, begin to share God's mindset, inspire and empower others with God's thoughts and dreams, use words of knowledge in everyday life scenarios, receive thorough answers from A to Z on how to operate in words of knowledge just as Sean does. And if we could just hear his voice, his thoughts, his ideas, we could transform the world around us. I believe personally that we'll go through transformation. You'll go through transformation when you read the book. The workbook is your guide to activate your faith and teach you how to share words of knowledge in relatable and practical ways. Understand how you can begin to interpret dreams. Receive personal words of knowledge from God that will help you to make the right choices for relationships, business, problem solving, and more. Receive words of knowledge for healing. Learn the different ways God can speak to you. We actually start to walk through a process step by step. How do you practice it? We go through 36 examples of words of knowledge in scripture, and you go through activations, group activations, individual activations, and you're going to learn to live a lifestyle of risk by going through this workbook. Plus, you will receive this audio CD, Prophetic Impartation, which is exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience. Through this audio CD, you will learn to clear hear God's voice for yourself and others. Learn the simple keys God has revealed to Sean on how to receive your healing and how to heal others. The CD that's only available through Sid Roth Ministries, I actually pray for you and talk about how to get the impartation and then I actually pray it into your life and into your spirit. Don't miss out on getting Sean Bowles powerful course, which includes his book and workbook, God Secrets, a life filled with words of knowledge. Plus, exclusive to our It's Supernatural audience is Sean's anointed audience. CD, Prophetic Impartation. Yours for a donation of $40. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9511. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9511 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. There is an ancient demonic power intensifying its effort to bring the world under a mind-controlling spirit. I want you to join me, Lance Wall now, on It's Supernatural with Sid Roth. And I'm going to show you how to stop the power of this influence in your family, in your business, and the nation. You just don't want to miss it.